All right, this one really is just a quick demonstration to show you that the period of a pendulum, how long it takes to go there and back again, depends upon the length of the string. So we've got two pendulums, exactly the same weight on the bobs, same sort of fishing line. Pull them both back to about the same angle, let them go, and you find that they take a different period, a different amount of time to do one complete swing. So that's one nice demonstration. The other one I want to show you is Galileo's pendulum. A bit of a board. We're just looking at the one pendulum at the front. And we can see that we pull it up as far as the top of the board, let go, and it goes up pretty well the same height on the other side. So this is a conservation of energy situation. All right, you're saying that's not perfectly straight. I'll make it perfectly straight. There we go. Now, the question is, if I get a stick which I just happen to have. Oh, actually, one of those rulers I didn't break before. Okay. If I get a stick and I put the stick in the way of that pendulum, hits the stick. Now, is it going to go up as high as it did before? So remember before, pulled it back. Hang on. Before I pulled it back, let it go, came up just about as high. If I put this stick in the way, is it going to go as high, higher, will it curl around, or not as high? That's for you to decide. Okay, here we go. Pull it back, let it go. And I think you'll see, if I do it once again, pretty well the same sort of height all the way along. So why is it so? What's going on? What's happening when it hits there? Ah, you're right. Conservation of energy. So it starts with some energy here, and it has to end up with the same amount of energy over there. So it has to go up just as high. Excellent.